We start where the action is. We play a key role in the contribution of live content, bringing camera feeds from venues to the studios or live to air. We'll use a football match as an example. The cameras at the stadium are connected to a production truck, where the director, producer and vision mixer create the programme. The programme feed gets sent into a lines truck, which connects the output to a network. If there's fibre at the stadium, we use this to send it to the BT Tower in London and our second switching centre. If not, we use a satellite. A lines truck sends the signals up to a satellite, which bounces them down to one of Europe's biggest earth stations, BT Madly. The programme feed is then sent to the BT Tower via fibre. The BT Tower is part of a resilient multi-node network. Every UK broadcaster is connected to the BT Tower. The BT Tower can deliver a signal to anywhere on Earth, either directly using our global media network or indirectly through the network of satellite providers we partner with. After the programme feed arrives at the BT Tower, it's off to the studio. Here they mix the programme, switching in feeds of the presenters in the studio to produce the final programme, before it's sent to the Playout Centre. The Playout Centre executes the broadcaster's schedule to create the channel. This is made up of live items, plus program files, pre-recorded content, channel idents and adverts. The Playout Centre is connected to a distribution platform. In the UK, for example, this could be Freeview channels that are distributed with transmitters and aerials sent out to viewers via satellite or delivered using broadband or the internet. We carry channels from around the world, then take them into distribution platforms before they're joined with other channels and broadcast to viewers. Freeview covers the whole of the UK, so we carry signals to all the hilltop transmitters, even in the most remote locations. Finally, the content reaches the viewers' homes. In addition to helping to deliver the live content to their screens, we also provide interactive services for broadcasters, so they can run phone-in competitions and viewer voting. We're supporting broadcasters based on whatever level of equipment and personnel they need to have on site or remotely. Our high capacity network allows all the camera feeds from a venue to be sent direct to a studio or a remote operations centre, whether it is centralised or decentralised. So the producers, directors and vision mixers can create the programme remotely or even from their home, freeing them up to work on multiple events in a day and enabling even more great content to be created. Superfast 5G networks are being rolled out across the UK. And the EE mobile network has 5G in more places than any other UK network. 5G will give broadcasters the option to bring live feeds from the field into the studio, giving sports and news reporters the flexibility to broadcast from anywhere. More than ever before, broadcasters are using public clouds to store media. To help them, we're working on ways to offer secure connections to these clouds through our high-capacity network. We're also looking at providing media processing services directly in our network, giving customers the best of both worlds. A choice of cloud processing or in-network processing, depending on how latency sensitive the content is. Discover more about why we're the leading provider of media services.